there's a certain point in your muscle that actually contraction is at its peak and then where there's no contraction going on whatsoever and I want you guys to get the most out of what you're doing so I'm gonna show you guys how I always show everything pretty much a bicep is a good indication of where you're going and what's the pendulum so it's kind of like a bell curve so no contraction mid contraction the fullest contraction and then no contraction once again so I'm gonna show you guys the little pendulum or maybe the, the bell curve that you go along and uh, I'll stop along the way so the first one is gonna be at the bottom then at the middle then at the way top and I'm gonna show you guys which is which one is the maximum contraction here we go guys notice that there's a certain point when I'm holding the weight that there's a maximum contraction and there's like pretty much no contraction going on the reason I'm telling you guys this is because you can use this in your training protocol this you can use this in your training right now so what you can do is like regular curls which is they call it an isometric uh, contraction which means it's basically moving so it's gonna go up and down that bell curve so it's stretching the muscle and then it's contracting the muscle and then you can do something right in between a little bit and it's called an iso uh, i think that one's an iso mesh. i'm not too sure but basically you hold it i'll, I'll look back at the number what, whatever the term is but basically you hold the, the muscle and it's not moving but it's actually still contracting like if you're trying to push a wall you're still using the muscles however the, the wall is not moving same thing goes with uh, a plank now we're just using it in in programming so you get the maximum contraction this is like really gonna get some nice burns in your bicep you're gonna be using it for your bicep check it out here we go again Notice the peak contraction, okay? Not, not much contraction going on down here. When you come up right in here, this is where the peak contraction goes on. You hold that weight right in there and you get that peak contraction up here. You're not really working too, too much, but you are actually getting some work. However, the hardest point is right here, right in the middle. That's where your peak contraction goes on. And you can do that pretty much with any muscle. So shoulders can be the same. Shoulder right here up, not so much contraction. Full contraction, there's no contraction pretty much. You're basically not doing much up here. So if you want to get a full contraction on that front delt, come up halfway, hold it, and that's where you're going to hold that most of the weight. So right in there. So you're going to come to this point right here, hold, and have the weight out here. You're going to feel a big old burn right here. Come down, do it again, do it again, do it again, and hold. So you're going to notice a huge, huge burn right in that localized area. Okay, so I, I basically taught you guys how to put that in your programming. So you can do uh, an eight of regular, so eight regular dumbbell curls, and then you can use a 10 second hold at the peak contraction. So it'll be right here, peak contraction. All right.